So, remember, uh, my sister was going to job course, so, and, and I didn't have enough credits in school to be uh, stuck in high school trying to pass all the time. I mean, for like six years. <laughs> So I just decided that the best thing for me to do was to go to Job Corps. And I told my mother that's what I wanted to do. So she signed me up. I was still in school. I was in ninth grade. I told her I wanted to go to Job Corps. So, uh, I mean, in, in, in high school in New York, uh, I met uh, some shorty in weight class. Because they had me in volleyball gym at first. I didn't go to no volleyball. Just, I changed my gym class and I went to... Uh, I went to weight class, weightlifting class. Um, and there was some shorty in there that I used to flirt with all the time and she used to like me and stuff like that. But it, was, it didn't go past flirting, we just flirted. And I used to want to go to school because she was there. Uh, it's to, it's to, you know, make me want to go to school. So, uh, yeah, that was basically as far as excited as, as, as that guy. I mean, there was a lot of people that liked me in, 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 in high school, but I didn't see myself as being that popular, you know what I mean? Like, there was a lot of dudes, like, there was a lot of people that, that knew me and, 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 and liked me, but, like, I didn't feel as popular, I didn't feel that popular, you know what I'm saying? So, um, let me see. So, I was gonna leave for Job Corps, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I go to the Job Corps place and they, and they, and they they telling people, you know, whoever going to this that third job could raise your hands. So, long story short, I tried to uh, grab the paper, and this was for a New York job call or something like that. And he pulled it back and said, "No, you're not. You're not going. To, you're not going to New York." <laughs> and I'm like, "Well, well where, where I'm going? <laughs> you know what I'm saying?" He like, "Well, you going to?" He said, "He said you going to Alabama." I'm like, whoa. You know what I'm saying? I'm from New York. Like, I'm going to Alabama. What are you talking about going to Alabama? So, this starts my journey, man. And uh, for me getting away from New York and seeing something other than bullying and uh, guns and hearing gunshots all the, all the time and being held down by the, by the thoughts of uh, protecting my family. So this is when you know, I started to mold the man. So, I was supposed to leave, I think in the beginning of January. We had a major snowstorm. This was uh, 96. We had a major snowstorm, shut down all the airports and everything. The same day I was supposed to leave. Major snowstorm. So it delayed, it delayed me about a week or two. And then uh, I finally went and I had to hop on two planes to, to get to Alabama. I remember that plane ride because I had Monica, I had Monica in my, in, my, in my tape player. I had a tape player. I believe a tape player or a CD player. Something like that, it's tape player. So I had Monica, her first album, and my tape player in the sky. And it was so relaxing. You know what I'm saying? So that's like, it like sets my whole tone of, uh, you know, Miss Thang, the, uh, the CD, the tape Miss Thang. So it set my whole, my whole tone uh, of, of my life changing. And uh, so I get down to Job Corps. And when I went clothes shopping, I got a red bandana, black bandana, got a blue bandana. Brown bandana, white bandana, orange bandana. I got so many different color bandanas, and I I don't know nothing about the gang, right? So they like, man, you can't have none of this. I'm like, what are you talking about? You know what I mean? Like, I like my bandanas, man. I like my bandanas. Like, like I wear my bandanas, man. You can't have none of this. To, to become it. So, adapting to Job Corps life, it was alright because it was only 300 students on campus, two dorms, 150 boys, 150 girls. So all day long you was around, you're around uh, 300 people in your pen. 300 is your pen, it's, it's, your, it's like your age, your age range. So it was, it was kind of, it was kind of okay, man. Like the job core scene for me was, uh, was, 
memorable, and it's something that I wanted to do again.